Hey guys, it's your favorite math teacher here today. It's Mr. Paul, and you're tuning into Paul's Maths Labs today. And today we want to look at what prime factorization is, or prime um, decomposition, or writing a product, or writing a number as a product of its prime prime numbers, as a product of its prime numbers. Okay, so let us begin. So, for example, we have got a number, okay, I might as well divide my page into two like that. I always do one key lines, I can never get straight. Okay, so, let's see, so we've got two numbers here, uh, let us have the number 24 and the number, um, let us have 39 here, okay. So, our question is we've been given the number 24 and we need to write it down as a product of its prime or find the prime factorization of it okay so basically this is how we're going to do it first things first we're going to think of two numbers that times together to give 24 what two numbers times together give 24 well we can say 2 and 12 so we're going to write down 2 here and 12 here after this first step we are going to stop and we are going to stop and see whether any of these two numbers are prime numbers. Are any of these two numbers prime numbers? Yes. Well, 2 is a prime number. So what we're going to do, we are just going to circle 2 and leave it like that, okay? 12 is not a prime number. No, no, no. So basically, we're going to find two numbers that times together to give 12. We're going to split 12 again. What two numbers times together give 12? Well, someone may say um, 4 and 3 or 6 and 2. Well, well, let's choose 4 and 3. So we've got 4 here. We've got 3 here. We're going to stop again. And we're going to say, are any of these two numbers prime numbers? Yes, 3 is a prime number. So we're going to circle that. Lovely. We're going to split two, 4 again now. So what two numbers times together to give 4? Well, you could say 4 and 1, but that's not going to help us because we're still going to get a 4 again. And we're going to have to do the same thing as well. So you can't do, you can't, when, when you're trying to look for two numbers that multiply together to give you a number, you, you can't use the number and one. You just can't do that because it's not going to help you at all. So we're going to use two and two, okay? Two and two. Are both of these numbers prime numbers? Yes, they are. So we can circle them. Lovely. Now we've got all prime numbers here. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do, we're basically going to write 24 as a product of its prime. So 24, and when I say product, product basically means multiplication. So 24 is basically 2 times 3 times 2 times 2, okay? So that is writing 24 as a product of its prime numbers, okay? Uh, if you want to tidy up and use some indices, you can also write it down like this. 24 is equal to basically 2 to the power of 3 because we've got We've got three twos that are times together and times just three by itself. Okay, lovely. Now let's look at um, the number 39. So we've got 39 here. So with 39, we need to think of two numbers that times together to give. Oh my days, my thing has just done that again. Sorry guys, sorry for this inconvenience. I don't know why. It likes to do that to me, why it likes to frustrate me and annoy me. Two numbers that time together to give 39. We could use um, 13 and 3. Now, are these numbers, are any of these numbers prime numbers? Yes, both of them are. 13 and 3 are both prime numbers. That one was a very, very simple one. So we've basically got... If we're going to write 39 as a product of its primes, it will be 39 is equal to 3 times 13. Lovely. Okay. Now let's look at um, two more examples. Let me split my... Oh. Let me split my... Oh no. What's going on now? Let me split my page into two. A wonky line as always, lovely. So we're going to have the number 20 here, and we're going to have the number 40, uh, 
46 hair around the cave. Uh, actually, let me change that to 48. That's now 48, guys. That's, that is now 48. I know it looks very, very strange, but it's a 48, okay? So again, we need to think of two numbers that time together to give 20. We could say uh, 10 and 2. We stop here and see are any of these numbers prime numbers? Yes, 2 is. So we're going to circle it. And we're going to split 10 again. What two numbers times together to give 10? We can say 5 and 2. Beautiful. So now we're going to circle them because they are both prime numbers. So if you're going to write 20 as a product of its prime, it will be equal to uh, 5 times 2 times 2. If you want to write it down as a um, in indices form as is in powers, we can write down 2 to the power of 2 times 5. 2 to the power of 2 because we're times in two twos by each other. Okay, now let's look at this example here. 48. What two numbers times together to give 48? If we could say uh, 2 and 24. Okay. We stop here and say, are any of these numbers prime numbers? Yes, 2 is, so we can circle it. 24 isn't, so we can split up feet further. What two numbers times together give 24? We say 2 and 12. Lovely. Stop here, are any of these numbers prime numbers? Yes, 2 is, so we can circle that. 12 isn't, so there we go. What two numbers times together to give 12? We can again say 2 and 6. Which ones are prime numbers? 2 is, so we can circle it. And we can say, what two numbers times together to give 6? We can say 3 and 2. Both of them are prime numbers, we can circle them, lovely. So we're going to write 48 as a product of its prime, which is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2. And if you want to write it using powers, you can say it's equal to 2 to the power of how many 2's have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 to the power of 4 times 3, because we only have 1 3, okay? So that is it again, writing down um, a number as a product of its primes. Sorry, I don't know why, where the three went there. Okay, so I hope you guys now kind of understand how to write down a number as a product of its prime or do um, prime factorization or prime decomposition of a number, okay? So that's basically what it is, guys. It's not rocket science. It's not too hard, is it? So you just need to know what your prime numbers are, really, and what your multiples and factors of numbers are as well, okay? So anyway, thank you guys for tuning into Paul Maths Lab. Um, I will see you later. Bye bye.